If you again go to modern physics and ask them what is the nature of matter, unless you understand the nature of matter, you cannot understand the personality of the Holy Prophet and Islam. People will continue to talk. I am a witness to it that in the mosque at Medina, a Muslim came. You can't call him a kafir. He said, La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah. He came and he had a cane in his hand. And he said, inside the haram, what power have you come here all the way? The prophet, he is dead and dried like my dried stick. He is dead and dried and gone. Lifeless, absolutely, like this is the combined shit. Inside the Haram city. So it is not something imaginary. This fellow could utter this blasphemy inside the Haram city only because of his ignorance. If he had been a student of science and if he had been a student of theology in the real sense of the word, he would not, never have said that. So I am bringing forth certain scientific facts, even some of you may, for them it may be a burden. Of course I know about my friend in my front who drive my, drove my car. He is a student of the final class in, the, in medicine, so he is a student of science and I am sure there are many others. Yes. You see, in modern science when you want to find out the nature of matter, There are two processes. One is the process of chemical analysis. The other is the process of physical analysis, as to find out what is the nature of man. The process of physical analysis is based on temperature, on heat. The scientist takes a piece of matter it may be a piece of phosphorus or sodium or magnesium or iron or copper or anything. He weighs it. He takes down all its properties and puts it into the apparatus which is hermetically sealed. Then he raises the temperature. This is the process. Something very simple which all of you can understand. You know, I am speaking here to the students of science. You know even superficially that matter has three forms even for a child. Gaseous, liquid and solid. Now H2O, H2O is water but it is also vapor, it is also ice. Ice is H2O, water is H2O, the vapor is H2O, the H2O is there, it is basically H2O. You see it in different forms, this is the process of physical analysis. If you heat ice, it will become water. If you heat water, it will become vapor, but it will remain H2O. This is very simple. I think it does, doesn't require anyone to be a scientist. Now what the physical scientist does, he takes a piece of matter, subjects it to heat, so it, it starts converting itself into its forms which preceded the form in which we find it. The solid becomes liquid. The liquid becomes gaseous. Now after that, we get a sort of flame. Then it is converted into molecule. Then it is converted into atom. Then beyond that, it is converted into the intermediate weight particles and the light weight particles, the K-mason and the anti-K-mason and all those things. Then it is converted into what was said to be by the scientists 20 years ago that it is converted into vibrations of light. 
In those days, when I was a student at Aligarh, the scientific world had this dictum: all matter is ultimately vibration of life. And the scientists, in the meantime, proceeded with further analysis. And now they say that all matter is ultimately anti-matter, anti-matter. All matter is ultimately anti-matter. If you ask them what this anti-matter means, I don't think there is any need to ask them because the very word indicates the anti-matter is that which is not matter. The anti-matter is that which is the very opposite of matter in all its qualities. Now, if matter can be seen, the anti-matter cannot be seen. If matter can be weighed, the anti-matter cannot be weighed. If matter occupies a certain volume, the antimatter does not occupy a volume. If matter has a certain area, antimatter has no area. I bring your minds back to what I said in the beginning. According to Islam, this world is quality transforming itself into quantity. You must have heard even from your ulama or in your even elementary books of theology. That Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala created this world out of absolute Adam, out of sheer non-existence. Now this anti-matter is the non-existence of matter, plainly. And the scientists have reached in their physics laboratories only up to this point. But even this is. Even this is enough. 